has fallen on the streets of Spokane. But yet we've got college basketball. Gonzaga, Texas Southern next. Ladies and gentlemen, kind of a benign picture right there for what's been going on in the Inland Northwest for the last 36 hours. Those just the remnants of a storm that came through and dropped over 30 inches of snow in much of this area. Inside, can you tell it's finals week and they're over. In fact, they've canceled the final day of finals here at Gonzaga. They got a lot of reason to be happy. Their Zags are home. They've not been here since November 18th. Finals were canceled on the last day. I'm Greg Heiser, and this is Craig Elo. And Craig, Gonzaga, they've been away for a long time. And that road trip started with it down in Orlando at the Old Spice Classic. And what a test down there. It was. It was a great opportunity for the Zags. They came out with a victory and a big one over Tennessee. But then they had to come home and play Washington State down in Cougarville on the road but took care of that in the second half and came through with a big victory down in Pullman. Of course, they got to 7-0, and then they ran into the University of Arizona. The final game of that road swing, they did not have the emotion of the Wildcats, and Gonzaga suffered their first loss of the season. Well, Gonzaga has won on the road this year. They've won with big first half. They won with big second half. And they've won close ones, but they did not win this close one against Arizona. I think the travel basically got to them. It was the last road trip of that 5-1 and one schedule. And I think they were looking forward to coming home, taking finals, and getting done with the uh, back at home. Yeah, Texas Southern in town tonight. This is a team out of the swag. Important for Gonzaga not to look beyond this team to their showdown with Connecticut on Saturday. Yeah, and you can't accuse Texas Southern of not taking on the big dogs or running with the big dogs because they played a lot of road games. 10th straight road game, played in seven states. GU is third top 25 opponent. Their first home game is until December 27th. And I guess who that's against? Portland State. So they'll run with the big dogs. Now, I don't want to destroy the drama here because we're all about that. But Texas Southern is 0-9. Gonzaga should win this game. But then again, that's why they play the games. We were only supposed to get eight inches of snow. We got 30. We'll get you tonight's starting lineups and the tip-off when we come back. Two of college basketball's most storied programs collide. Well, for the first time since November 18th, Gonzaga gets introduced on their home floor, Greg Heister and Craig Elo. It is finals week, the end of it. Earlier, well, actually yesterday, they they canceled the final day. I cannot get over that. Never, never had that sort of fortune when I was in college as we take a look at the starting lineups. First floor. Texas Southern, DeAndre Hall, Matthew Miller, the guards, Jox Jones, the forward, along with Ricky Boyles and Michael Drewy. The head coach, Tony Harvey, in his first season, a former longtime assistant at the University of Missouri. He's in his first year here at uh, Te Texas Southern. 0 and 9 to start, but his team will play hard. Gonzaga starting lineups just announced this is what they look like as they've been the entire season now. Pargo, the starting point guard, Bolden and Downs. His guard mates, Austin Day and Heitfeld, on the front line for head coach Mark Few, who uh, picked up just his 61st loss uh, last week against uh, the University of Arizona to go along with those 243 career wins. And he certainly, Craig, is wanting his team to come out quickly, make a statement early, and get to the bench quickly <laughs> exactly I mean uh, I think we're all looking forward to that UConn game but what's at hand first the Texas Southern Tigers they're coming up I tell you what you got to be careful with them they're an athletic team Greg they love to press that's the way coach Harvey feels like his team's got any chance of winning is full court pressure the whole game now if you're a good team and you can break that press and score against it then Texas Southern needs to find another strategy but tonight, you're going to see some athletes running up and down the floor. And I think Texas Southern has a few of their own. 
Yeah Tony Harvey brings a lineup to Spokane that features its tallest player at six foot nine and he's on the bench. The rest are six eight and smaller which really means they're either six six or six seven. So not a big lineup. No so you can you can basically do what I just said that you can get out there and press. Now they'll run a zone match up one two two but they will just definitely try to make Gonzaga take early shots from the perimeter and try to get into a hectic pace with them. And you can see Coach Harvey over there on the sideline. He's up off the bench right now already yelling at his guys. He's an intense guy and his players will play hard for him. Here's Heitfeld from the elbow just inside missed it. Rebound DeAndre Hall number one. Well against that one two two there's a lot of space opened in the lane and that's exactly where Josh found an open spot just short on his shot. That's Ricky Boyles with it number 20. Into the corner here's Hall with it guarded by Micah Downs number 22 the senior out of Kirkland. 14 on the shot clock. Texas Southern not really even close to that rim yet. As Miller will drive, hand off the Hall. Free throw line jumper is good, and the Tigers score first. Yeah, DeAndre Hall, very athletic and a very good mid range game, which you just saw. He found a little spot coming off the curl. Downs, corner, three ball, bang. 3 2, Gonzaga. Timeout, Texas Southern. And Coach Harvey is not happy. Well Micah Downs was standing all alone in the corner and he's trying to figure out defensively who was supposed to get over there. You can't let a guy just slip but that's one of the best places to attack the zone I believe is on the baseline in the corner or the short corner because you get behind the defense they can't see you. I think that's exactly what Micah Downs did. Let's take a look at Craig's eggs now. This is the keys to the game. What are they Craig. Well you're going to have to see attack full court pressure and when I say that. I said Texas Southern loves to full court press. So what you want to do is attack it and look to score not just break it but look to score. Second one box out and rebound. Now I think there's going to be a lot of shots tonight probably over 60 65 shots. They're going to have to box out and what I mean by that is literally put your body on one of these Texas Southern players and then the other thing the extra effort to do the intangibles. What makes GU so good over the past few years has been their intangibles. And that's what they got to have to play GU basketball tonight. Boils with it. Height fell out deep as we take a look at tonight's officials Mike Peterson, Randy Burkhart, Scott Harris. They're known as the good guys. All into the corner. Is this Gonzaga's defense or is this Texas Southern being very deliberate? I guess that's not deliberate. Hall with the deep three. Actually, that was Miller. Rebound Bolden up court height felt 6 11 running and finishing 5 2 Gonzaga. Well we've had the luxury in the past of seeing all GU big men run the floor very well but I think we're seeing the best at it right now in Josh Heifelt. Not only does he run the ball or run the floor well Craig but catches the ball as well as any of the big players the big post players that Mark Few has had. Oh no question has great hands and the ability to stop and catch it and then go up with the shot is better as anyone we've seen in GU uniform. Jones with a missed day with the rebound to Cargo. Again Heitfeld runs and posts up quickly. Golden fakes the three. Here's Austin Day working. Shot away and good. Count the basket. Chance for three for Austin Day. Well Austin Day just has a plethora of shots right. So you got to guard him when he catches the ball at the free throw line. Or he's going to shoot right over you. Look where he's at. He's on the free throw line. Now he uses the arm to hook himself a little bit in there. And it's man to man against Michael 